Once you've selected fixtures and given them attributes, it's now time to press record. When you press record, the record options pop-up comes into view and, while it's easy for you to just breeze by it and record your cue list, there are a lot of things in here that are really powerful and can save you a lot of time. I want to walk through them here. The first thing we see is the values, where it says base, effects, and time. Here's where we can toggle the different types of values that we want to record. It's important to note that only values that are in the programmer that you've brought in since the last clear of your programmer will be recorded. So if there's no effects or time values in the programmer, none are going to be recorded. However, if there are base effects and time values, you can filter them out by deselecting the values that you don't want to record at this time. So you could record only effects values, for example, or only base values, or maybe only time values. This pop-up shows up when you're recording cues and also when you're recording presets. In the fixture section, we're able to decide if we want to choose between all selected fixtures or also the non-selected fixtures that are in our show. Just like the values tab, we can toggle these on and off to do either or both. The source tab lets us select active or active and inactive fixtures. Inactive channels are channels that have been loaded into the inactive state using edit, or it was active but has been recorded into a previous queue, or forced to inactive using clear. Nevertheless, if you want to record the active and inactive values that are in the programmer into the next queue that you're recording, select active plus inactive. The conflict tab shows us the ability to merge, replace, or remove. We use the conflict modes when we're recording on top of another queue. Merge will add new contents or change the information for parameters that have been changed compared to the queue that you are writing over. Replace will ignore everything in the original queue and replace it with what's in the programmer, completely overwriting it. And Remove is a very powerful tool. We can use Remove to selectively remove only the attributes that we load into the programmer from the queue that we're recording to. Queue only takes the parameters you have selected and records them into the current queue, but then restores them back to where they were previously in the queue list in the next queue. The Timing tab allows us to click and select timing from the default timings that are defined in the menu. You're able to select a variety of timings quickly and easily through this function. Filter allows us to filter through and only record the attributes we want to the given queue. For example, if we click Intensity, only intensity information will be recorded. Same with Pan Tilt, Color, Gobo, Beam, and Beam Effects. If we select them all, that's really just the same as having clicked these refresh arrows to select none of them, because essentially you're not filtering anything. These filters can help you program very cleanly so that you don't have any unwanted data in a given queue. For example, you may be recording a color queue and you want to make sure you don't accidentally include any other information in that queue. 